Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today you join me on the second part of the Chiggy fit to my R1300GS. We're going to be fitting the CGRC LIN adapter. This is the adapter that Chiggy sell to provide whizzy wheel function. So the wonder wheel on the BMW, you use this so that the, um, the communications from the bike will actually talk to the Chiggy device via Bluetooth. We're going to show you that fitted to the bike. I'm going to show you how I fitted it and where I fitted it. The other thing that I will be explaining as well is how I managed to get the power to the Garmin mount because it's still in use and power the CGRC LIN along with the comms. So what I've done is I've used a wire adapter. Now this wire adapter is one that I've made myself. It's made with OE spec wire and the plugs are OE spec plugs. Now, quite commonly you can buy these wire adapters online, uh, but they don't normally carry the communications channel. They just carry power. So I've made this splitter so it splits the comms and the power to both the um, the LIN adapter and up to the nav, nav unit. Now in my case at the moment I'm not using the comms to the nav unit but it's there if I want to use it at a later date. And if you unplug the LIN adapter the comms would still go up to the nav unit via the Y splitter. So in the video I'm going to show you how I made the Y adapter. I'm also going to show you where I fitted the CGRC LIN adapter, which is out of the way. You can't even see it. I'm also going to run you through how to connect it, and then we'll run through how to pair it to the AI05. It's a really simple job, guys. If you're going to make your AI05 removable for your BMW, you need to buy the CGRC LIN, which will then allow you to use the Wonder Wheel, which is what we all wanted all the way along. Right the, from the days of using the Garmin sat navs, it was a really good feature and nobody else has managed to do this up to now. Um, there's only Chiggy who's managed to pioneer this. So um, yeah, it's a really good feature. It's a nice safety device as well because you're not taking your hands off the bars to do anything. You know, it's all there at your fingertips and it's quite simple to use. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you, um, you, you like what I've done. And if you do, please give the video a like. Really appreciate any feedback I get. Comments down below, guys. I'm always eager to answer questions or help out wherever I can. So, please don't forget, if you do intend buying a CGRC LIN, any Chiggy device for that matter, uh, NJW Moto is now an affiliate member of Chiggy. Um, and um, yeah, if you buy something from Chiggy, we get a small, uh, we get a small commission, which really helps the channel. It really helps to... Uh, to keep bringing you this content that we enjoy doing so much and i hope you you know i hope you you, you trust me by now that all my all my reviews are very honest and and straightforward I, I don't i don't beat about the bush i say it as it is as an engineer i find if things work they work if they don't they don't work and they need fixing so watch the video please give it a like please consider subscribing I know I keep saying that, but it really is important, guys, to keep this channel going, to get more subscribers, and to keep them algorithms happy. I have had a few comments from various people saying, why did you not just buy the uh, Play for BMW? Well, I already had the Chiggy, so it seemed pointless, really, spending more money and then having to sell the AI05 to, to just buy something that was the same. Plus, I like a challenge. And there will be loads of other people out there in my situation that have already bought the standard play and still would like the option to make it removable and have the option to use it on other bikes with a Garmin-type mount. 
So that's uh, my little uh, my little theory on this. Um, I hope it makes sense. It might not to many, but it does to me. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the content. And uh, thanks again for joining me, guys. So we'll move on. Right, guys. So this is the um, adapter lead that I've made up. It does the power to the uh, navigation bracket and it also provides power to the CGRC LIN. Um, I bought these plugs, made it up myself, um, crimped it all together and uh, we're going to fit it on the bike and give it a try. And um, hopefully it all works. So. Uh, so the, like I've said before, my issue is because I've made the Chiggy a removable device and I'm using the nav bracket, the Garmin nav bracket, I need power to both um, the nav bracket and to the LIN adapter. So it makes sense to just put this in the radar dome and put the LIN adapter inside there so that I can then have the, um, the, the wonder wheel function. So that's simply a three pin plug, um, a female, I think it's a, a, they call that a male and they call them females. So they're females and that's a male. So you can buy similar things off Amazon and eBay, but they only have two wires in them. So all it does is it splits the power. This is actually splitting the comms as well. So this will also send the comms up to the nav bracket. So if you ever need comms up there, it'll still have it up there as well. So here we have the CGRC LIN adapter made by Chiggy. This is what enables the wonder wheel function. Nice little device, not very big. Comes with the proprietary plug on it to go into your sat nav connection to your cradle. Um, as you can see I've made that up so that I can plug it into the splitter that can then go up to the cradle and that can go to the power this will mean we can have the remote control and still have power going to the sat nav cradle whereas if you normally just fit this you've got no power to your sat nav cradle hope that makes sense and uh, yeah, let's fit it on bike and see what it's like. So as always, first thing we're going to do guys is take the screen off. This screen's been on and off sometimes, I can assure you. We'll then remove the security brace. Also remove the chiggy out of the mount, like that, removable, we'll take the Torx 30, we'll just slacken off these brackets. Get a microfiber, cover the clocks. not forgetting to take the uh, the wind deflectors off they fasten to the radar dome I'm not sure if we could get the dome off with yeah maybe get the dome off without having to take them fully off
But I'll tell you what, for what it takes, I'm going to take them off. I'm not going to risk breaking anything. And it also gives me a chance to give them a good clean while they're off as well. Now what we'll do, we'll get the key, give it a waggle, turn the ignition on, then raise the screen up a little bit, the screen motors, and that will allow us to then remove the radar dome, which should now be loose and just held on by the two poppers at the bottom. So you just put your fingers underneath it. Give it a nice swift pull upwards, and that's your radar dome off. There you go. And that there is the plug that we're looking to get to. The white plug. Well, I say a white plug, it's white and black. So what we'll do now, we'll turn the bike off. There's a little tag at the bottom of there, bottom of this black plug here. Just push that tag in, pull it down, and that plug will disconnect. Then we'll take my Y harness and we'll fit that to the bike. Easiest way to do that is through the bottom, through here. So if you just feed the wires through and under the back there, like so. Pop that one in, clips in nicely. Took the spare wire, there's like a little aperture down there guys, where the spare wire can go. We can then re-plug the BMW loom back into the Y splitter like so so I've just put a bit more light on the situation and these two plugs sit nicely together I've put a tie wrap around the pair of them to hold them both in one position keep them nice and sturdy and as you can see now we've got the spare plug left now to plug the CGRC LIN adapter into and we're still getting power up to our nav cradle. So, let's have a look at a placement for the, for the CGRC LIN. Now, first thing that springs to mind that looks really obvious to me is this area here. It's plenty of clearance. There's nothing going to catch it when the, um, when the cowling's on. There's quite a big void behind that area so I'm thinking with the supplied 3M adhesive we'll put it somewhere there like that then we'll plug it in swoop the cable under tie wrap around the top of the cable to hold it neat jobs are good and um, so we'll uh, we'll give this a clean up with some alcohol rub and we'll apply the supplied 3M sticker onto the back of the CGRC lin and we'll stick it in position. We'll just spray a bit of alcohol rub on there with the plastic clean up make sure it bonds nicely. Let that dry off. And then we'll take the supplied 3M pad and remove its backing. We'll pop that on the back of the CGRC LIN adapter. I'm just thinking for servicing if that screw ever has to come out, we'll have to take it off, but can't see it having to come out regularly so uh, yeah 
yeah i think that'll do nicely right let's get it um let's get it adhered And I know some people are thinking it's close it's it's fairly close to the radar but that really isn't a concern guys this is um, much out of the well it's well out of the frequency of this Bluetooth adapter and plus the fact it's behind it and this radar radiates forwards nothing goes backwards on this so uh, What we'll do now, sorry if you can't see, but uh, just uh, get that so you can. We'll get the, uh, the plug in the right order. We'll plug that together. And that's it, that's in. And then that can sit down there. And I will just put a nice little cable tie probably around that cable at the top there to hold it in position. And there you have it. We've popped a cable round it. Um, I may put another tie wrap round there to hold it, but I think it's overkill. It's definitely got it. It's not, not going anywhere. It's not hurting anything there. So, um, yeah. Let's put the clock bracket back on now before I box it all up and we'll fire the bike up, we'll not fire the bike up, we'll put the ignition on and give it a test, see if we can get it to link and see if everything's working. So there you have it guys, that's all in and installed and fitted and I'm confident the radar dome will fit over the top of that without any intrusion. Um, signal hasn't got to go far to the Chiggy unit up here. So um, yeah, it's in uh, a good proximity so let's hit the ignition and see if my theory works this is the first time I will have turned it on so without further ado if the keys are yep the keys there and there we have a chiggy on look powered on a removable mount there we go so have we got power to the CGRC LIN? And of course, yes, we've got a blue flashing LED, which means it's trying to pair. So, let's go into the Chiggy and see if we can pair it. Go to menu, menu, Features, is it in there? Yep, radio control, pair. Enable vertical scrolling, connect. Now is that connected? Who knows? Yes, that's connected. Look, we've got a solid blue light. So another clue here, guys, that the CGRC LIN is actually active and connected into the LIN bus or the CAN bus of the bike is we can see here there's a, a, a little symbol that says TFT and then NAV at the other side that's not lit. So if we hold the up menu button in the upwards direction you will see that that will then go over to navigation mode which further reinforces the fact that the LIN adapter is actually working and now the bikes all back together I'll run you through some of the menus and how easy it is to use the whizzy wheel with the AI05. Okay, so when you get into CarPlay, you'll find that when you turn the whizzy wheel, 
it highlights the icons underneath the uh, the selected apps within CarPlay. So to select an app, all you simply do is flick the whizzy wheel to the right. That will select the app. You can then move it around within the app with the whizzy wheel. So there we've selected browse. We we'll flick it again to the right and that'll allow you to browse. So if you wanted to go back to home, hit right, it goes back to home. Then to get out of that menu, all you would simply do then is flick the whizzy wheel to the left. Go back to home and there you go, back to your main menu. So turn the wheel to select, flick right to select the item you want and flick left to get back into menus. Now, I believe if you hold the whizzy wheel over, there you go, hold it over for a long pause, you can then go back into the chiggy menu. And if you hold the whizzy wheel over long pause, it goes back into CarPlay. So yeah, very easy guys, very easy to use and quite intuitive. Um, I'm not sure when we get into this menu, can you flick? Yes, you can then flick through the screens when you're in the Chiggy menu, takes you to all the various screens within Chiggy, which is the data from the bike. And as you can see, this is pulling through the data from the bike. We haven't got the engine running at the moment, but if I just, let me just select the gear lever. You can see there, I just snicked it into second and it knows that, and now it knows it's back in neutral. So, there you go, that's showing you that it is pulling the data from the bike. We'll just hold it back over to the right and we're back into the CarPlay menu. Couldn't be easier guys, could not be easier. Absolutely simple. So, it seems there was a few doubters as to whether this would work, but I can assure you it does work and it works perfect. While we're in this menu, I'm just going to show you one little trick. So I I was under I was under the impression that I wasn't getting my TPMS data on the screen. And the reason for that is because I'm not using the Chiggy TPMS, you have to go into features, TPMS and make sure you select, if you look there, it's now in Chiggy, CG TPMS. You have to select Nav TPMS. That is then going to take the data from the BMW motorcycle. That's a good little tip for you. Just remember that one if your TPMS isn't working. There you have it guys. We're all back together. Everything's working and we've got exactly what we wanted. We've got the wonder wheel function working. I've got a removable AI05. Brilliant, just what I was looking for. Now, there's a few people doubting whether the Garmin mount would have sufficient power to actually supply the Chiggy device and the CGRC LIN adapter. Well, I can assure you, I have investigated this prior to fitting it and the information came from a, a guy who I've known for many years who's a BMW master technician and he assures me that the Garmin mount will supply up to 5 amps at 12 volt. Now the AI05 Play only uses around 500 milliamps so quite low usage, half an amp. The CGRC LIN adapter only takes 30 milliamps. So there's no stress on any of the system, guys. Now, if for any reason that circuit drew more than five amps, the CAN bus would cut it out. The CAN bus would stop it working. You've probably come across this on a GS before when you've overloaded the accessory socket. I know in the past people have fitted 
heated clothing or heated gloves to the accessory socket. And as soon as it goes over five amps, it clips out on the CAN bus. And you've got to stop your bike, restart it, and let the body control module reset the CAN bus. So it's basically an electronic fuse that limits the current draw. So don't forget, if you're going to order anything from Chiggy, please use my link, NJW Motor. You'll get a 20% discount and it helps the channel. It also increases the credibility of the channel with Chiggy. If there's any other things you'd like to see, guys, put your comments down below. If you've got any questions, please put your questions down below. I'm only too happy to answer your questions. You've seen it working. I think we're uh, quite convinced that everything's okay there now. Um, I'll see what it's like to live with over the next few weeks and I'll possibly do a review on the unit itself so that I can feed it back to people. But there is already plenty of reviews out there for the AI05 anyway. But yeah, let's see what it's like to live with. I'm sure it'll be fine. Like I say, the picture quality on it, the, the screen is absolutely superb. It's definitely top of the tree when it comes to navigation devices and CarPlay devices. Um, the, the build quality is second to none. Um, it's, it's just good kit, really, really good kit. You know, you, you, you're not gonna buy much better. So that's about it, guys. So like I say, thanks again for joining me. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, watch this space for more content from NJW Motor. So ride safe and bye for now.